Hi, in today's video, we're gonna be learning five basic camping knots. These are the ones you're gonna to wanna to know. Stay tuned. Hi, in today's video, we're gonna be going over five basic camping knots. You know, learning these skills and having a mastery over them will help you have a much more enjoyable camping experience. You know, if we haven't met before, I'm John with Let's Go Now Adventures and our YouTube channel's all about all things camping. You know, whether you're into camping in a car or in camping in an RV, you're going out to enjoy the great outdoors and having some skills like these knot tying skills that we're gonna be covering today, those will make your outdoor experience that much better. You know, if you like the video today, make sure you give me a big thumbs up and don't forget, hit the subscribe button down in the corner so you're not gonna miss when we release other videos and other great ideas about camping. But let's get started with today's video. So the first knot we're gonna be tying is the overhand knot. Now, it's a simple knot. You see it every single day when you tie your shoes. All it is is taking your, your two ends of your ropes and crossing them and there you have an overhand knot. Just looks like a pretzel. Same knot you use to tie your shoes. To tighten it, there's our overhand knot. You can kind of see it as I rotate through it. Let's tie it around something. So here, we're just gonna take that and we're gonna tie that overhand knot right around that. And there you have it, an overhand knot tied around something. So the next one, after the overhand knot, we're gonna take that one step further and we're gonna do what's called a square knot or a reef knot. So we're gonna tie our overhand knot and just pay attention to which side goes over, your right hand or your left hand. In this case, I'm gonna tie it so my right hand goes over my left hand and we'll tighten that. This time, I'm gonna have my left hand go over the right hand and we'll tighten that. Now you can kind of see the characteristics of that square knot in that it's very symmetrical. Both of these ends are coming out on the same side of that loop and both of these ends are going underneath the same side of that loop. So that is the square knot. Where we might use a square knot is, let's say you were tying up a pillow or a sleeping bag and you'd wrap your rope around your sleeping bag, you tie an overhand knot, then you tie your square knot, and then you'd have a secured pillow or a sleeping bag all rolled up. Okay, the next variation on our overhand knot is we're gonna just make an overhand knot here, and I just wanna show you how closely these are related. So what we're doing here is I've got my overhand knot and all, I'm pulling 180 degrees. So this one I'm pulling out that way. This one I'm pulling out that way. I'm pulling 180 degrees. We can change the knot simply by changing the direction. And so instead of pulling 180 degrees difference, I'm now pulling 90 degrees difference. So I've just applied the force a different way. And you know what I have here is a single half hitch. To tie the half hitch by itself, it's real simple. You just come around whatever you're gonna hitch to and you just bring it around and then bring your working end in underneath or between the two items. So now you've got a half hitch. The way to create a double half hitch out of that is we're gonna continue our rotation so you can see that the rotation comes that way and then we'll come around and we'll go, once again, what, what a half hitch is, is we're gonna loop it over and then come back inside relative to whatever we're hitching to or whatever we're putting, tying the hitch to. And this is called a two half hitch, believe it or not, or sometimes called a double half hitch. So what that is, that's a nice hitching knot. It's much more secure than the single half hitch by itself. And that's a relatively strong knot. That's called the two half hitch or the double half hitch. We can use the double half hitch to tie whatever is up here, whether it's the corner of your tent to a stake. We can use it to tie 
a rope that's going over the load of your truck, we can, we can tie that half hitch um, so that it, it secures that load. We can also make it a double half hitch on this side of the load if we just need to lock this side of the, the rope in so that now we can do other things with this side. So we're gonna do the, this double half hitch again. We'll go around what we're gonna hitch to. We'll tie that first half hitch and then continuing the same direction, we'll put a second half hitch on, and there's our hitch. Now, the next knot we're going to be doing is called a clove hitch. And all a double half hitch is, is a clove hitch tied around itself. So the clove hitch is tied like this. So it's just a double half hitch that's tied to something else. So I'm going to bring my rope around my object, wrap it around, and at this point it doesn't really matter. What does matter though is that we cross to the opposite side, we come around, and then what we're going to do is we're just going to bring that up underneath that crossed part of the rope, and we'll tighten that baby up and there we have a clove hitch. So we're gonna use the clove hitch if we want to bind to something. So we wanna secure this rope to this pole. So what I'm gonna show you now is a couple of variations. Let's say you need to tie a clove hitch, and this is where the clove hitch really shines, is if you need to tie a double half hitch around something or tie the clove hitch around something that's in the middle of the line. So this end of the rope's way off over there and this side of the rope's way off over there, and I need to tie a hitch to this. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna wrap it. So I'm gonna go over, and whichever side is coming out the bottom, I'm gonna loop that again. And then what I'll do is as I loop it, I'm gonna have this side on top, the working end, and I'm gonna turn it upside down and flip it over my item And now without touching either end of the rope, I've got a clove hitch tied around this. Another way to tie a clove hitch right in the middle of a rope, even simpler than the last way I showed you, is we're gonna make a loop and then a second loop. And I've just coiled them one and two. We're gonna take those two loops. So this was the first one, this is the second one, and that's the order. I'm just gonna reverse them so that they are now in the opposite order. I'll just take one loop, put one on the other. We'll just, now that they're reversed, we'll slide them over what we're gonna hitch to, tighten that up, and we've got a clove hitch. So no matter which way I wanna hitch to, whether I wanna hitch from this side and put force on this side, or whether I wanna put force on this side, or actually both, this is a good way to hitch to something. Clove hitch can be used as a binding knot. So I'll just loosen this one up a little bit. But if I needed to, say, bind two poles together, that it's a way for me to bind those two poles. Since we're on a roll, I wanted to show you one more that's a related knot. This is called a cow hitch. Now it's very much like that clove hitch, but just one distinct difference. And that as I go through, I'm gonna wrap around and I'm gonna cross, but I'm not gonna go around. I'm gonna cross, and I'm gonna stay on this same side as I go around the opposite way. And what we'll do now is we'll just tighten that up. And now we've got what's called a cow hitch, which is also a hitch, maybe not as strong as the clove hitch or the double half hitch, but it's also a hitch is really handy is let's take some of the knots that we just used and do something kind of useful. So what we're gonna do now is, it's just a little bonus thing, but this just gives you an idea of some useful things you can do around camp. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a simple lanyard. So what we'll do is make a square knot on the end of this short rope that I have. And it's relatively secure. If we make sure we tighten that baby up, that's gonna be safe. Now what we'll do is we'll take our other end in our keychain 
our key ring, what we'll do is we'll feed the loop of our rope through the loop of our keychain. And then what we'll do is spread that rope loop out and take our keychain loop. And as we spread, we'll bring the rope loop back around and we'll tighten it down. So now we have a cow hitch with our keychain on the bottom, secure. We throw this over our neck and we are good to go. We've got a set of keys when we come home from fishing. So thank you for watching the video today on these basic camping knots. Hope, hopefully these knots you'll, you'll master and they will help you have a more enjoyable camping experience. More importantly, as you get these knots down, maybe you can check out my playlist, which is the Essential Camping Knots playlist, which go, goes over many more knots that you'll use. The more knots you know, the more knots you have mastery of, the more fun camping will be. Besides, tying knots is just fun by itself. So if you like the video, give me a big thumbs up and make sure you hit the subscribe button so you're notified when we release other videos. I'm John with Let's Go Now Adventures and we'll see you on the next adventure.